Well, last week we introduced you to a McEwen University student, Chris Clark. He's trying to get into space. Well, he has some company at the school. 20-year-old Cassandra Kirk. Captain Kirk is a second-year Bachelor of Science student over at McEwen. Thanks for coming in this morning. Well, thank you for having me. How's the push to get into space? It's tough, well, especially working on a student's budget. You know, I've been emailing newspapers, emailing news stations, contacting all my friends all the way back up north in Inuvik, where I used to live, um, in Grand Prairie, all over Edmonton, and the amount of support coming in is just, it's blowing my mind, the amount of support. And take, people taking time out of their busy days to go for me, it's, it's awesome. And that's through the, uh, the AXE uh, Apollo Space Academy competition. Um, where are you ranked right now? I'm currently number 28 in Canada out of probably over 3,000 people wow. by now. So to be this close, if I'm not doing everything in my power to win, that it'd be crazy. And the top two would go, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, why do you want to go? Um, it's, it's basically been my dream ever since I was a child. I used to live, like I said, in Newbic Northwest Territories. We'd get 24 hours of darkness every once in a while. Um, when the season was nice, my dad and I would like to lay out on the lawn and watch the stars, and then it, probably in grade seven, I think, is when it really flicked a switch in me, when I met um, the first Canadian female astronaut, Roberta Bondar, and she was telling me about how she used to like suck up juice in her straw and spit it back out in the air, and <laughs> stick her straw back in the juice and suck it up, so I think that was probably what really ingrained it in me, that that'd be something I really want to do, and it's it really is the last frontier of the human experience, as Buzz, Buzz Aldrin did say, so it would just be amazing. You want to become uh, an astronomer, so that this whole thing's right up your alley, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. I, I mean, astronaut first would be absolutely amazing, but I mean, there's, I think, three to five Canadian astronauts right now, and every couple of years they pick up new astronauts, and it's very, very competitive. You have to be top physical condition, top of all your classes. You have to go through rigorous, rigorous training, much as we will if we win this competition, if we become the top team very tough. I take it you've been following Chris Hatfield on, uh, on Twitter. I do follow him on Twitter, uh, yes. <laughs> what's your take on that? It's just amazing to see a Canadian in his images of, of our home and, and actually probably inspiring a lot of people, including yourself. It is, yeah. Well, it's nice to see him take time out of his day. I know it's really busy routines they have to go through, um, you know, scheduled things they have to do on the space station. For him to take time out and really connect with people back on Earth, kind of bringing the experience home to them. So. I mean, that's been amazing. The pictures that he posts, a lot of the things he says, it's inspiring. Uh, you have a, a few months to go. Uh, August is when the competition wraps up. Do you have a spacesuit? You're going to be parading around like Chris <laughs> at the school or around the city? As I said earlier, it is really hard to find a female astronaut suit anywhere that isn't too revealing. So <laughs> I've, I've ordered something online. It'll be coming in soon. Yeah, you'll probably see me around West End or around Grant and Hume walking around downtown wearing something because... It's a lot easier to go up to people and explain how to vote in person and, you know, let them know who I am and why I really want to go. So. You had to give a little shout out to uh, all the family that I watched <laughs> all over this morning. Too, just want right? to say hi to everybody in Nunavik, all my family there. Um, my sisters, the ones who helped me pick up this outfit. Nice. Um, make all my posters to Chantelle and Natalie, my mom and dad. And everybody here in Edmonton who's helped me out. So thank you very much. Well, we'll keep an eye on your journey. We wish you all the best. Uh, you can learn more about uh, Captain Kirk's push to get into space. Edmonton.ctvnews.ca. Thanks.